Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles. Do you love butterflies? I know I enjoy seeing them. And Andrea Sis, the Barron County Extension Agent for Horticulture, is here today to tell us a little bit more about attracting butterflies to our gardens. Welcome, Andrea. Thank you, Joanna. Well, well, it's great to be here today. <laughs> well, I'm glad because I think I think everybody enjoys watching butterflies, but I know a lot of gardeners, they probably have questions, you know, about how to get them to their garden. Yeah, that's always a common question, and I was trying to come up with a topic for us to talk about today, and I was hiking with one of my friends the other day, and we saw all these beautiful, what we call flying flowers, the butterflies. <laughs> um, I always like to try to take pictures of them, and if I can, determine what, what species they're from. Um, and in Kentucky, there are over 143 different butterfly species that have been observed. Really? Yes, it's, it's a large amount. A lot of people don't know that because you yeah. only see the few that are in your yard. Uh -huh. So we're gonna talk a little bit about how maybe you can attract different species today. Yeah, and, and how do you tell those apart? Are they just color or? Um, a lot of times it's color. Sometimes it can do a little bit with their anatomy. So some of them have different um, lengths of parts or maybe their wings are a little bit different shape. But a lot of times it is based on that color pattern. And that's how a lot of entomologists will break down and identify the species. Yeah, I always just look and think <laughs> they're pretty. I didn't know there were so many different styles and types. And do some, I wonder if do some types like specific plants? Yes, that is very key to, to the way that they pick where they're going to go, where they're going to land, and where they're going to live and lay their eggs. Um, so the anatomy a lot of times will tell us, and the lifestyle can tell us a lot about what we need to do to attract them to our gardens. Okay. Um, for example, um, butterflies use the tips of their legs to taste food before maybe they drink it. Um, so that's something that we always consider. The mouth part is modified. Um, into a long tube. So they have a, actually a tube that goes down into and, and collects the nectar a lot of times. Um, so it's coiled when they're at rest, but when they're drinking, sometimes even pictures, you can catch them with that out. And that's that's like the, the artistic um, <laughs> shot that you want. Um, so the length of this tube actually limits the types of flowers that they can get their nectar from as an adult butterfly. Um, they can't feed on some because maybe they can't reach the nectar. Um, so some species don't particularly like nectar, so there's other ways that they feed, and that is on um, like aphid sap, rotting fruit, tree sap, or dead or decomposing critters, um, and also on animal feces, and a lot of people don't realize that either. Yeah. So, I mean, butterflies you think so pretty, but sometimes there's a little <laughs> bit of dark side to them. <laughs> Yeah, so there's all kinds. So there's plants and, and you know, I, we've seen when we go to butterfly gardens, I've taken my kids to a couple different butterfly gardens and they'll have like a slice of peach yeah. or something in a saucer yes. for them to feed on. It's that sugar content. They're they're looking for that sugar content in there is how they're attracted to it. Yeah. yeah, so maybe if you don't have a green thumb, there still might be hope. Ways that you can, <laughs> yes, ways that you can attract them. And usually, the like it says, the more rotten or ripe fruit is going to attract them more because the sugar content is higher. Oh, okay. Um, so that helps a lot. Um, so the other important thing is the caterpillar stage. Um, a lot of people don't realize that the butterfly will lay their egg on the specific plant that the caterpillar needs to eat. Mm -hmm. um, so we can actually kind of select the different species that we want in our yard by focusing on what plant that caterpillar is going to need. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something a lot of people don't think about. And um, the adult caterpillar selects the right spot on the right plant. To, to take care of business. I mean, they're not gonna lay their eggs on a plant that it, their babies aren't gonna live on. Mm -hmm. um, so it's always thinking about kind of how important that caterpillar stage is because the primary goal for the caterpillar is to eat and grow so that they can pupate and then become that beautiful butterfly. So without the caterpillar stage, we wouldn't have our beautiful butterflies. So yeah. we need to focus more on what the caterpillars need necessarily on what the butterflies need because the butterflies can take nectar from pretty much all flowers. They're not as selective on their nectar. It's that caterpillar stage that's more selective on where they'll lay their eggs. So when they talk about, you know, growing a butterfly habitat, mm -hmm. that probably takes all of that into consideration. It the does. caterpillar stage as well as where the butterfly is going to get yeah. its nectar. So we always say that the caterpillar food plants should become your foundation for your garden if you're doing a butterfly habitat. Um, it's going to be the most important part. And we actually have a pub that talks about, mm -hmm. on the back, it tells all the different plants yeah. that are for our common species in Kentucky. So it kind of helps out when you're looking for what do I need to plant in that. 
And there are other things to consider. They also need some, you know, water, some puddling, and different things like that. So it's an, it's important to consider their whole habitat, not just you the neck. Got to get it all. And Andrea has all <laughs> the answers for us. If you want that pub, contact your local extension office. And we appreciate you watching. Have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.